All right, everyone, here we go. Some harder word problems, and these ones are doozies, I tell you. Okay. But even though these are tricky, um, have a go at them before we do them. So it's a good idea to just pause your, your screen, see if you can do them, see if you can start it off, um, and then we'll give you a few hints. Okay, so uh, the first one says, my father was 28 years old when I was born. If he is now three times as old as I am, find our present ages. So in doing this problem, there are two factors going on. One is... Dad's age. Right. <laughs> oh, dad's age. So father's age. Okay, F. Nice. Father's age. And um, when I was born, me, my age. We'll call it an M. So when dad was bo when I was born... Dad is 28. So, I know. What kind of equation can I make up from there, Mr. Cole? Well, that, I guess that means the difference between your ages is 28 years, right? So, when, when you were zero. F has to be the, high, the bigger one. If yep. I subtract 28, I'm going to get M, my age. So, if I'm zero, he's 28. Okay. Or F minus M equals 28, however think, you want to set it up. Right, I think that one makes more sense to me if I put it that way. If yeah. I subtract them, because I actually, if I say my father's age minus my age, I know that difference is always 28, no yep. matter what age I am. So if I'm 1, he's 29. If yep. I'm 2, he's 30. Okay, so there's my first equation, two variables. If I have two variables... I need two equations. Want to guess how many equations I need if I have three variables? Three equations. If I have 100 variables, I need 100 equations. Really quite straightforward, but you have to make sure you get the equations. So that's the first piece of information. Second piece of information, if he is now three times as old as I am, okay. find our present ages. So what can I do for an equation for that? Well, I'd put F equals... 3m. Right. So, so my age then times by 3, and I'm going to get my dad's age. Right. And when I make this equation up, here's what I think about. I, I always think about, well, I know right now f and m are not equal. I know f is the bigger because it's my dad. And so what do I have to multiply? I have to multiply me times 3 to make it bigger, to make Ooh. it the same as f. So I, because yep. I sometimes forget where I multiply the 3 by. So here are my two equations. Uh-oh, we've got a bit of lag going on again, hey? Mm. Oh, mm. Okay, so we have three, two equations. I think we can probably leave them there, shall we? As our pen's not working very fast. Right. What do you think? Yep. Do you think they can finish off that one? I think one? they can finish it, and let's have them put F equals... Okay, so there's only one space on the, um, the Google Docs form. Right. So I think if, if you put in F, but on your sheet, you should write down F and M. Right. This is what I want you to put on your Google Doc, but you well, guys should answer the fine. question asked. Yeah, so just the number. Don't write F equals. Just put in the father's age. Right, just That's this all you one need. here. Yep. Okay, sweet. Going to the next one. All right, so we have... Two rectangles. Rectangle A or rectangle B? Let's draw them. Okay, here Always we go. Always a good idea. A, and here is rectangle B. They're not to scale. That doesn't matter. Nope, just we want, relatively speaking, where these values are. Rectangle A is four meters long than it is wide. So let's say that X equals the width of A. Okay? If, if x is the width of a, then I know the length of a is going to be x plus 4, 4 more. All right, so this is x plus 4, and this is x, x plus 4, and x. If I go to rectangle b, uh, it's 3 meters wider than and twice as long as a. Okay. So hmm. three times as wide is going to be just three x, right? Right, because this is. And which one do we call the width? Right. Yeah. Right. So this is going to be x plus three. So the width. Three x, I think. Oh, oh no. X plus three. Because I know rectangle oh, B. What am I doing? 
So let's just read this carefully. Rectangle B is 3 meters wider than rectangle A. So here's 3 meters wider than rectangle A. Here's uh, rectangle A, 3 meters wider. I was doing 3 times wider in my head. I don't uh, know why. <laughs> and then we have the length of B is twice as long as A. Well, here is rectangle A. And so if I want twice rectangle A, is that. Okay, so now it says the difference, so here's the length of B, the width of B, the length of B. We are told the difference between their perimeters is 24. Well, this is going to be a bit of a nasty equation. If I look for perimeter of A minus the perimeter of B, it has to be 24. Perimeter of A is I add up all those terms. I go x plus x plus 4 plus x plus x plus 4. That yep. is perimeter A. All those terms added up. Minus, and i got to put these in parentheses because I need all of perimeter B to be subtracted. So, starting with this one, I get x plus 3 plus 2 x plus 4 plus x plus 3 plus 2 x plus 4 equals 24. Okay, so there's a great big giant equation. Let's start to simplify these up. I know I have 1, 2, 3, 4 x's plus 8 minus Hmm, if I put this and this together, that's 2x's plus 6. And here I'm going to distribute plus 2x plus 8. And then another plus 2x plus 8 will be 24 still. Oh, lots of algebra here. x plus 8. I'm going to keep that minus out there still. Let's collect everything inside. I get 2 4, 6 x's, and then 8 plus 8 is 16, plus 6 more is 22, equal to 24. And so if I now take off my parentheses, distribute the negative sign, negative 22, that one there is the killer one. This is the one that... Yep. We're going to get these the wrong way around as well, though, aren't we, I think? Because I think perimeter oh, B is the bigger one. Oh. So the difference should be perimeter B minus perimeter A. We, could carry, we can carry on with it, but I think if we realize that then, we're going to end up with a negative value for X, aren't we? So we really, are. So do we want to make this negative 24 since we know it's yeah, bigger? If, if so we do the smaller one, take away the bigger one, it's going to be negative 24, right? Right. Should we go back and just put those in? Let's put this negative because these should be switched around. I know B is bigger. Look at how big B is. So I should have done it the other way around. And so this will be a negative 24, a negative 24. But my astute students would have noticed that and would have just done it correctly the first time and it would have come back to tell me Mr. Rops did it wrong. <laughs> So let's put these together. I get negative 2x minus, uh, what's that, 14? Yep. Goes negative 24. I'm going to add the 14. And so negative 2x is negative 10. And so x equals positive 5 when I divide by 2. So there's my x equal to 5. And if we use what we have here, that means that my width is 5 of A. My length, I plug 5 in, is 9. My width for B, 5 plus 3 is 8. And my length will be 5 plus 4 is 9, times 2 is 18. Okay, so all that's left to do in this question, then um, we've already done the length of rectangle B but we could leave you to find the area of rectangle A. And this is the answer we want you to put into your Google form. You put that into your form.
Okay, continuing along there. It's going to be a long one, isn't it? It is going to be a long one. Let's set, see if we can set this one up. All right, so we have the second of three numbers is four times the first number. 